In this video, I'm going to be working on a bifold closet door where the pivot pin and the top of the door is all loose and wobbly and ready to fall out. This is a very easy fix and can be used on any of the pins or rollers that are sticking up out of the door. This is Rudy from the Home Improvement Channel with another video showing you how to fix things around the house. If you're a subscribed member to my community, then welcome back. If you're new to this channel, please consider clicking that subscribe button below and please like this video if you found it helpful for you. Okay, so without further ado, let's dive right in. All right, so what we have is something here that's just not gonna work. We have a bifold door where the pivot pin is all eat out. You know, something's going on up there at the top. We gotta take a look at that. So we're gonna need to remove the door so it's very easy. Just fold the door in half, makes it easier, like so, and just lift up on the door, pull it out of the bottom, and kind of tilt it down a little bit away from you, like so. Oh, all right, something fell out of the top. That's probably our pivot pin. Just like that. All right, let's put it on the bench and see what's going on. Okay, so here we have the top of our door right here. Over here we have a wheel. All right, that wheel slides back and forth in the track. And over here we have our pivot that I was showing you. This is messed up. And down at the bottom of the door, we have another pivot that's adjustable on a thread. So you can adjust the height of the door. Now this method I'm going to show you how to fix this will work on any of these three points. It doesn't matter. And also this is only just one way of fixing this. There's other ways to fix it. Uh, my way is pretty easy and straightforward. The other way would be is to cut this piece of... Uh, well, I don't want to call it wood. It's more like paper. But yeah, you could remove this and then put in a block of wood there and kind of glue it in and then re-drill your hole. That would work too. Uh, but this method I'm going to show you is much easier, okay? Now, as you can see, this is a joke. It's just too loose. I guess somebody stuffed some steel wool down in there to try to make up the, the difference, but that's just not going to work. The hole is all eat out, and that's how that fits in there without the steel wool, so not gonna work. So what you can do to fix this fairly easy is take a plate like this, all right, I'll link below to the plate. Uh, these plates don't come, I pre-drilled both of these holes right here. They come with a single hole like this one in the picture right here, and this hole is small, and the screw that they come up with is a joke. I don't like the screw. So I pre-drilled both holes, but what we need to do is mark the door, all right, where the holes are, and I'm going to, you know, use bigger screws than it came with. So what we would do is this just slips over the door. Now this is a one and three eighths door, all right. If you have a different size door, make sure and get the right plate for your door if there's one available. But they are available for the one and three eighths, like I have here. That's pretty common size. So this kind of just will slip, there we go, over that, and you'll want to line that up over your hole. All right, so just take something and mark these. I'm just going to use a fine tip magic marker. A mark through here like so. You can use anything. You can use a screw. You can use anything you want. Uh, I would pre-drill these holes uh, because this is kind of made out of this composite wood or whatever this is, it acts like paper. And if you try to put screws in that, it's undoubtedly going to split. So let's pre-drill these holes. So another thing that I would mention is, is this plate comes with this plastic collar right here. Uh, this is for a 3 8 you know, the size of this is 3 8 There are larger ones like this. And if you remove this collar, if, I, if you can get it out, I forgot what the size was. I think it might be 7 8 but I tried the 7 8 one in there, and it doesn't really fit very tight. It's kind of wobbly. So they may make one with a washer here that will fit a 7 8 But right now, this one fits the 3 8 and that is a better option from what I saw. Also, there are other things you can use here instead of the screws that I'm using. You could even use a toggle bolt that looks like this. You'd have to drill a pretty large hole there for the toggle bolt to go through. 
but uh, I don't think that's necessary. I'm just going to use my enlarged screws. And also, when I drilled this other hole, there wasn't a hole here before. I made sure and slid that over far enough, right, so put the hole close to the end so that it will kind of wind up here in the middle of this instead of right here on this seam. You don't want to put a screw there because it's not going to do a whole lot. All right, that should be pretty good. Here's my new screws, a little bit bigger than what it came with. These should work fine. I think that's going to be pretty strong right there. And just go ahead and put the new piece in. You could drive it down lightly with a hammer, very lightly. Just kind of very lightly tap on that plastic so it will break. There we go. Much more better. All right, real quick before I put the door back, if your door happens to be out of adjustment where it's not square in the, uh, in the hole, there's a Phillips screw right here. I figured I'd show it to you now before I put the door back and you can't see it. And that will move that pin back and forth so that you can square up the door. All right, so same thing here. When you go to put the door back, kind of have it folded in half pretty much and then get the pin back where it goes. Make sure the roller is in its track, which it is. And then kind of push up on the door to get the bottom pivot in like so. Now you can go down below and kind of slowly close the door to make sure that it's not going to be hitting, you know, against the wall here. And it's in there. Now you want to look to square up the door. You can lift it up and move it over. A little bit more, I think. And that looks pretty good. All right, so this door is back to its old self. No problem, it's fixed. And that's how you do that. Thanks for watching.